Clean your room, clean your room, clean your room. Constant thing, the idea of cleaning. This was something that up until 33, I did not actually understand, and that sounds bizarre to you. How does someone who looks like a neurotypical and supposedly now walks like one, even though it took many, many years to be able to mimic that, how does that person actually get to the point where they understand what clean means? Well, it's on my Facebook page at Gapsmack. Now, what I realized was that clean actually represents many things to the neurotypical, so, right? What does it actually mean to an artist? It makes no sense, apart from, well, not dirty. Okay, well, my room has no dirt. All right, if there's no dirt, then it's not dirty, and therefore, by definition, it's clean but how does that make sense when your parents come back to you and say I thought I told you to clean your room and you say you thought it was clean and they think you're being a but smart actually not you're generally not understanding how they can think a room without dirt is not clean it turns out as I've said before on my blog that clean for regular humans each means item having in a specific order or recognized so it is a structure it is a superset of specific commands which the authors for some reason like my brain never picked up so put your teddy bear on the shelf put bingo put your books in that section there put that so I have to remember that when a regular human tells when me they clean, tell you to clean it means also that apart from the regular definition of having no dirt it means organize the room in a specific way and it is a superset of the individual commands so all the commands I mentioned have these there have that there have the pillow there have the quilts folded in that fashion the autist has to actually be told that way and they have to consciously when the regular human says clean it includes and entails a specific subset individual of specific requests. I really had to get that out. This is one of those millions of rules I have had to learn over the years to appear to come across as a neurotypical. And of course, as people who know me know that there is a bias in my case because people, regular humans, want to blame you, want to punish you, want to accuse you of things that you have not done and did not even think that you could have done or were doing. really important. I had to let you guys know that rule. That's all I had to say. So, wishing you all a lovely day and that's it.